hello 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 everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel if you are new to this channel please subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber thank you and god bless you how are you all doing today my correct correct people will come again with another obonge information from the palace of ife according to alleged information reaching us reverend esther ajayi paid uh queen naomi chile a surprise visit yes so queen naomi was not expecting it at all like seriously she was never she was never expecting her to come so according to what we heard uh she came there to save queen naomi somehow and to equally save kabiesi yes so uh i don't know if you've heard the alleged information of queen naomi you know that uh, they have given queen naomi order to bring prince Tade back into the palace of ife you know all of those stuffs hmm. so my correct correct people uh that has been trending for a while now and uh we heard that uh, olobi toby will be taking care of prince today that was the part that got to people and they are like huh? what is happening that's her people now started asking if kabi ever thought of the decision before giving it out as an order yeah so according to what we heard allegedly reverend esther ajay stormed the palace stormed the queen naomi's house in akure uh and uh, they had a shit chat together so uh the main theme of that meeting was uh advising queen naomi never for whatsoever release kabi ac4 release prince study for kabi ac yes so according to reverend esther ajayi he'd already checked this thing well 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 and had found out that there is something that is trying to bring prince today inside into the palace of ife okay so the thing is somehow using kabi ac and she she explains say, something like if you are not like if you are not uh spiritually strong you won't even know when they are using both your mindset your face and everything about you so the enemy are using kabi ac at this point to make queen naomi bring prince today into the palace of ife so according to reverend esther ajayi the way she takes see the matter she saw it in a way that if we naomi ever make such mistake she will regret it she will live to regret it for the rest of her life okay so she did already come into the matter and was like on no account no matter the how the pressure that kabi ac gives to you no matter how it take be that this one is just my moi keso that a time will come when kabi ac will be damn serious about bringing prince today back into the palace that on no account will should queen naomi release prince today uh for kabi ac to take care of okay that they should reach an agreement that if prince Tade is going into the palace to stay then she the mother of prince Tade, will equally be going into that palace with her son for them to stay there and she gets her own condition on the condition i be on the ground where uh, where the talk say the other olob is no good day there so she told queen naomi to maintain that ground to stand gidiba that nothing is happening that on no account should she uh you know release prince today for them that the enemy wanted to use kabi ac but very soon it go soon clear for kabi ac i then again that a time will come when kabi ac will request like he will be he will be like queen naomi will even be confused because the way kabi ac will be requesting for prince today to come into the palace of ife queen naomi will be ref will be confused as ah, ah. she will be confused to uh, what is happening so that was the reason why she came in she was like this thing is not something that she will call on the phone or something yeah we heard that uh, queen naomi's them family some of her kinsmen we are equally invited because she wanted it to be to to enter like two three uh, four people's ears so that when it will start happening they will be like oh reverend esther j said something like this so uh -huh. then again it is for people of akure as well to stand their ground so that they will not for one day push queen naomi and tell her to give kabi ac as his son or something or oh, yeah take the boy to him now uh -huh. so the the message from reverend esther ajayi was for them to be extra extra careful and on no account will they allow the enemy use them yes because the enemy might use them against queen naomi 
by pressuring them, you know, pushing them to push Queen Naomi into handing Prince Tade over to Kabiesi. So Reverend Esther Jai now, according to what we heard allegedly, do already tell Queen Naomi what she saw and how it could take B for the official. So Queen Naomi really appreciated her visit. Not only Queen Naomi, her family, her kinsmen, they appreciated the visit. It is not easy, my correct, correct people. You know, Queen Naomi is loved. She is loved. Nothing go fear happen to her because if you see the way people take the take her matter like their own, eh, you see that ah uh, that Queen Naomi is like she she gets all, all, all that is needed. Like seriously. Yeah, Reverend Esther Jay equally said that the reason why she's doing this is because of Kabi AC and Queen Naomi. That if na her own, Queen Naomi go carry him like say na in own. So that same way she decided to carry Queen Naomi and Kabi Esis matter as if to say nine oh nine B. So she and that family got a very good connection. We equally heard that uh, somehow he's Kabi she's Kabi Esis godmother, okay? So she's really trying her best. Kabi Esis got a godfather as well that is trying his best. All of them are just trying to make sure that Kabi AC and Queen Naomi, they come back together without any what we don't understand. So that's just it. And we really appreciate her, you know, making out her time to go and see Queen Naomi to discuss uh, discuss this crucial uh, information with her because it is as important as whatsoever thing, where they important. Yes. You see, Prince, that is safety. It is Queen Naomi's number one top priority now. Making sure that that boy is safe. That is what she is into. All right? Because I don't even understand. I believe what uh, Reverend Esther Jai said about the enemy trying to use Kabiesi. Because I was like, Kabiesi that detests uh, Olori Tobi so much. Why would that same Kabiesi now be requesting that Prince Tade should be brought up by the same Olori Tobi that Kabiesi never find out the truth oh, behind her own matter? Then why will Kabi Esinaum be pressurizing Queen Naomi to hand Prince Tade over to Olori Tobi? I was like, eh, what is happening? So when uh, Reverend Esther Jai made mention of uh, the enemy trying to use Kabi Esi about how uh, they have even succeeded in using him, it became clearer. Yes, because a lot of people ask that question, why will it be Olori Tobi? Why not choose another? In fact, had it been that Kabi Esi chose another person who, Outside the palace, outside the Olovis, people would have, you know, tried to understand it better. Instead of mentioning Olovi Tobi, ah ah, ha, it's a total disrespect to the biggest one to Queen Naomi. Anyway, my correct, correct people, that was it, as we heard allegedly. I don't know if you have given the video a thumbs up yet. If you've not, please kindly give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Turn on your bell notification so that immediately I upload a new video. You'll be the first to get notified. What do you think about this uh, movement where Reverend Esther Ajaido already make so? Yeah, a lot of people are saying that she didn't do right. She would have, you know, gone to meet Kabi, a sister of Queen Naomi. She did what the spirit led her to do, okay? So the spirit told her to meet Queen Naomi. Maybe Queen Naomi would have been the person that will understand what she's uh, saying, that will relate with her easily. If before Kabi AC, uh, hey. and you know, Kabi AC is the one trying to take Prince today, so he better make him meet Queen Naomi so that Queen Naomi will never be shaken. You get so that even if they are pushing her, putting fire, putting pressure, let her stand where she's they stand. Anyway, my country people, I'm going to be ending it here. Do not forget that all of these are alleged information. So, when believing, believe with a pinch of salt. And when dropping your thoughts, your opinion, your comments, please make it a constructive one without insult to the royal throne of Odudua. I'll see you soon in my next upload. Bye, thank you, and God bless you.